All right, so I just stumbled upon this and I was looking if there was a way to set the Nectar Impact LX with Waveform. I had just made a video showing how to set up a customized controller inside waveform and as soon as i press stop before i got ready to edit it i just happened to do a little search and found this on the website for nectar i'm going to go and install it and see if this will work because it's going to allow me to do more things inside waveform using this controller right there are some notes down here i'm gonna keep this page up so we can refer back to it but first things first i'm going to press download bring this over impact lx okay and then let's see exactly how we do this so only traction 5 and above are supported connect your impact lx controllers to your computer start waveform open the settings tab select the mini devices enable both go to control services then click create yep click import settings got you fine awesome okay wow this is crazy let me pull up waveform and get this going this is retarded i just got done recording the video and it seemed like i couldn't find it on the website that's crazy but i happened to find it all right so let's go here settings going to control services and see i created my own one right here but let's go and go to create new custom control and let's do lx25 and I'll just save it like that. It looks a little different than the other one, but they'll be right by each other. So now down here where it says import settings, go to import and then go to your download. Downloads. All right, here it is. Got to extract all. Let's extract it right there. All right, it's going to be extracting the downloads. Now I should be able to find it. Here it is right here. Support, click on that, open. So to do the next part, it says to hold shift mute and press the patch, which is a setup button. So I'm going to press. I was doing some setup earlier, trying to figure it out. So I'm going to press shift. OK, you should th see the little three dash lines and then press setup and it should be set on set. Once it's on set, then it says press a two, which is right here, which is 13 keys up from the left. So 13 keys up would be a two. All right. Originally it was set to 0.0.0. .0. Somehow I end up setting it to 0.0.3, .0 but we want to get it to two. It says press key C3 label with a dash until the display says 0.02. .02. But on the LX25 model, which is what I have, it says press C3, which is the enter, and then press C1 until the display says 0.02. .02. So I'm going to press C3. And there we go. 0 0.02 is there. Then I'm going to press hold shift mute and press patch setup to exit the setup mode. All right. OK, so everything should be good to go. Let's go back into traction. Let's see what's happening. Once I restarted waveform and went back and then really make sure that it's set to MIDI in for the impact LX25 for the input and then Microsoft. And then I was able to now I click follow selection pickup mode. I'm not quite sure if that's right or not, but I just selected those anyway. Um, <laughs> if it helps to have them on, great. If it doesn't help, then you can take it off. I'm mean, all right. I keep one to press exit, but not exit. So now I know that I'm back in my project. I can press rewind. I can press play. It's working. OK, and in case you didn't believe that it worked, let me show you the keyboard. So. Here we go. And turn the loop off. Put the loop back on. Taking the loop off. Fast forward. Rewind. Okay. And then I should be able to record. I'm going to erase this. Well, no, I just do another track. Do another audio track and then set it to record. You do hear the input echo, so you might hear some echo on my voice but it's not going to high sound when i get done recording this thing press w or could i press rewind button and i got an enable press record button oh yeah 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 i yeah okay all right anyway 
so you know what it sounds like then and i can uh play both of those yeah, I okay so i know it records both of them so the record button works on it and let's see track wise oh look, i can go up tracks and select tracks all right let's see patch wise okay it just goes from one patch to the next patch i guess but anyway for the basic functionality it works i'm able to switch tracks and then um, the impact is a great unit i do love it i just wish that some of my buttons were still working but that's got to do with having kids and having things near your electronics when they shouldn't be so that's another story but anyway uh you all hopefully this helps this was kind of a weird video to record because i recorded two different videos and then i end up going back to readjust some things but anyway